David. I've built a model of Captain Torres and Three Strikes. Based on your hypothesis and mission parameters from the past, I ran a precision combat simulation. But it failed. Bummer. Why didn't it work? Reasons in sensuous order are... 1. Your hypothesis is trash. 2. The parameters you gave me are um, trash. Did I do something to tick you off? 3. Captain Torres is a singularity. So the values diverge. But what about this one? Four. Three strikes is a singularity. That's outside the confidence interval. The possibility that it's one, two, or three is 99%. What? Significance is high. Hmm. Try this. This is Three Strikes data before he's assigned to the LRSSG. The Erujian military is gathering its remaining naval forces at Anchorhead Bay. Apparently, they're even bringing in ships from the Mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the showdown in Farbanti. We've received intel that the Alicorn will also be joining them. From which source, Brigadier General? There's a possibility the Alicorn's former crew have been tasked with sabotage. Your job is to analyze the enemy's weaponry. From now on, speak only when authorized. I don't hear a response. May I be authorized to speak first, sir? <laughs> when we're done, I'll be talking to your superiors. Here's your mission. LRSSG is to raid Anchorhead, carry out airstrikes on Anchor Bay to the north and Dockyuk Bay to the south, inflicting all possible damage. If we can strip the port of its naval functions, we can also prevent the submarine from joining forces. The area around Anchorhead is Erujian territory. To delay hostile detection, you will sortie in small numbers and make your way in at super low altitudes. Small sortie. Who's going? Count, Lanza, Hujan, and Trigger. Four aircraft from Strider Squadron will be deployed. Well, all right, I got this. To cover our lack of numbers, we're giving you plenty of opportunities to resupply. Look here. We've set up multiple return lines. Make full use of them to resupply and change our also note that the enemy will not be able to mount a defense immediately after detecting it. Use this window to destroy high threat targets. That should make things much easier for you. It should also raise the survival rate. Survival rate, huh? The element of surprise and resupplying are the key. Beyond that, I just need a couple of pilots who will stick to my orders. We don't need an ace to succeed. Got anything to say? Good. Brigadier General. That is all. David, go on. Let me share the career of Mateus Torres, captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people hailed him? A bit unfair to provide us with next to no hints, don't you think? <laughs> Fair enough. The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. He was a captain of the battleship Tanagir at the time of the Continental War. It led Egir fleet, the Invincible Armada. But when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberth Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he's the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control and precise evacuation orders. Then, there's the accident with the Alicorn. Many believe that if they stay with him, they'll live. Transfer from surface to underwater is unusual. However, considering his skill and reputation, along with the fact that the Alicorn is no ordinary submarine, it all makes sense. It will be a difficult mission to carry out with four aircraft. Still. I'd like to add one more to the mission conditions. Like, you want to make it even harder? I want 100% survival rate for the sword. Any other number and the mission will be considered a failure. Strider Squadron, proceed to runway. Sortie ASAP. I can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. Wilco, I'll leave their hearts out. Whoa, Trigger, don't you dare get the juicy stuff before I do. Nice, Trigger. There's no enemy movement yet. Gobble up all the high
high-value targets. Forget about your manners. Never had any of those to begin with. Had to stay behind last time. This is gonna be a walk in the park. It's a good warm-up to get back in the game. Emergency! Four bogeys! ETA, two minutes! Already here! AA defense system was destroyed with crew and activated. This will make things easier later. This one's a goner. Major General Clements. About three strikes. You sure will get a positive result this time? Yes, Lieutenant General Shepard, Operation Dominoes is going to plan.
home to multiple enemy fleets. Probably too much for Lanza's poor stomach. Damn straight. Trigger, look out. Let me a hand, will ya? Additional hostile ground forces. Four big 31s approaching. They're fast. These guys are interceptors. Bearing 310, altitude 2000. Explosion. 
explosion radius from now on. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear. Three strikes. Two back on the 
imagine you're just about to be killed. What am I going to be killed, you ask? Because they wanted to steal from us, to torment you, to burn you, to set you apart. It was for your sins, your actions, and your vengeance. There has to be a reason. Three strikes has none of that. Fire to Shell detected. Nickel. Ten seconds to contact. Target designated by Tucker 04. Exit the combat zone. Nickel. Impact now. Nickel. Enemies Nickel. got a lock. Well done. We've managed to hit the Erosion Navy's fleet and command structure pretty hard. <laughs> that was definitely a free lunch if there ever was one. Mission complete. Return to base. Withdraw from the Operation Airspace. You completed the mission, but it's not done until you return home. <laughs> arrogant bastard. Stand by. Warning. Two bogeys inbound. Bearing 090, SU-47s. Lanza! Missile! Behind you! Lanza! Strider 3 is hit. Missiles have stealth capabilities. Their missiles may hit you immediately after your missile alert goes off. So that's the trick. <laughs> Calling out to unidentified aircraft. Use combat immediately and withdraw. What the? Brigadier General Clemens is radioing enemy aircraft on OCN channels. Too late. Trigger's already started. I repeat, withdraw. Don't want anyone thinking we screwed up. Three strikes is going down. They're responding. God damn idiot. You call me an idiot again, I'll kill you. You siblings can go to hell together. Brother and sister? Damn, you dodged it. Good, you're on their six. It's two on two, Trigger, we can't lose. Sorry for this, but you don't count. That's two on one. <laughs> what are you calling a wuss? <laughs> Dirty tricks aren't all they've got. They're both ace material. Projectile detected. 
Ten seconds to contact. Don't think you're some mighty tree strikes. Trigger, you and I... No, you alone should be able to take those bats down. Got one on my tail! Stand down! Sit! Shit, my cola. The fleet at Anchorhead was eliminated, and we prevented the submarine from joining forces. The unidentified aircraft were shot down too. The mission was a complete success. Complete success, my ass! Brigadier General, it sure seemed to me like the bats knew you pretty damn well. You seem to be confused. Report in for a medical check. We'll decide if you're still fit for service based on the examinations. Cut it! That's enough! Get the MP! He's right. Get the MP. Vice Chairman Edwards of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The Alicorn slipped into Anchorhead Bay after the mission was completed, using the confusion for cover. It resupplied quickly and escaped unharmed. Their goal was not to join forces. It was to resupply using the window we created by chasing away the erosion forces. We did their bidding, albeit unknowingly. But the problem runs deeper than our lack of tactical acumen. Analyst North, explain for us. Of the crew caught in a submarine accident, 330 men made it back alive. Of them, 300 are still in the sub today. Our intel has led us to believe that some or all of the 30 men who left the sub are now working as agents for the Alicorn. Sabotage, espionage, cyber propaganda, dissemination of false intel. Brigadier General, do you recognize the name Edgar Saxon, or Zool, as he used to go by? He is a former member of the Alicorn's crew, and your source of intel. You are a fool, Brigadier General Clemens. Not only that, the radio communications during the mission suggest you are a traitor. 
Sir, if you check with Lieutenant General Shepard, you'll understand that this is all just a misunderstanding. The Lieutenant General claims you were responsible for handling all aspects of the mission. Now, let me say that again. Get the MP. No need for that. Piece of shit. We've acquired important intel from the mission. For example, the shells from long-range anti-air fire came in on depressed trajectories. Look, the estimated energy output of the railgun is 500 megajoules at least. Fired at minimum energy trajectory, range is over 3,000. They hit a powerful rail cannon aside from their main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. A mobile Stonehenge. And also, this. The Alicorn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have loaded SLBMs. They loaded something smaller. Smaller? What is smaller and yet a powerful weapon? Huh. Tactical nukes. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, he got that question right. Nah. I missed the shell part. Quiet! They'll likely attack our bases on the East Coast. Their target's Ored, the Ocean capital. They want a nuclear war? Here's a question. What's a situation where nuclear deterrence doesn't work? Quiz guy, I've had enough of this. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. Damn, Scald. Hey, I'm good at trivia games. But we're after an erosion submarine, not terrorists. No, he's right. HQ tells me Eruja's justification is that the Alicorn mutiny. As such, the Eruja military cannot be held responsible for the submarine's actions. Damn. So they intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Ulred. Here's a question for you, Analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? Correct term is terrorist, or irregular military, but I have a different name for them. An enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct.